Many of you have been asking in Adobe Muse forums how to add ratings and reviews. So you normally used to need third-party services, but now you can actually do it with this widget. You don't need no third-party services anymore. Um, you can totally control the widget and its content. Um, forget about paying fees and there are no limitations or other problems related to third-party services and no registration is required. So I'm going to show you how how this widget works. So actually this widget you can you can place it on uh, on single pages or you can go to the master page and you can place it here and you can apply the master page to whatever pages you want. So no matter how you use it or where you use it, you will always have one back end, okay? So everything will be in the same back end. So don't worry about how you're going to use it. Okay, so I'm going to open the options here. And let's start with the text labels. You can change the text labels here if you want to use any other language uh, rather than, than English. And form settings, you can change, for example, the, the button background color, the button hover color. Uh, you can choose the separator bar, shadow size. You can start customizing even in the title size. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit and you can see how, how this works. I'm going to change some colors. Um, for the background color, is, it has a little bit of opacity, text color. And okay, let's change this to, to this one. Yeah, I see how things look now. I'm going to change the font. You can start playing with this option so you can. You know, you can customize it as as you, as you want to. And I'm going to get this, this color too. Yeah. So, you know, you can choose the colors that you want. So, reviews and settings. Okay, for to get this and start um, start customizing this part is the review. So, once you, you drag the widget, you won't see the reviews. What you have to do is you have to attach a PHP file. So, when you download reviews and ratings, the zip, you'll get a Mulib, a readme, txt, and ratings php. So you have to open this file and before attaching it, what you have to do is you have to open it and you have to do some editing here um, using a program called Sublime, but you can use any any other like notepad. So here you have some values that for security reasons, we recommend you to to change them. So first of all is the username. This username and this password is to access the, the backend, okay? So change it and use one of yours. And we also recommend you to change the CSV, the CSV name. Right now it's called reviews, but we also recommend you to do this. And um, normally if you, to set your control panel, you can, if you want to leave it as it is, your control panel will be something like yoursite.com slash assets slash ratings PHP. But what you should do actually is this page name, ratings, which is here, you should change it to other name, okay? So just imagine if you want to change it to, 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 to let's make something simple and say it's my reviews. Let's leave it like that. Then to access your control panel will be yoursite.com slash assets slash myreviews.php okay so this is and if you change this too you should also change the 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 name of the attachment because right now it's called ratings php so that's why here was ratings php but now apart from changing this you should change it the change the file name here this should be called uh, myreviews.php so when you when this is done when you start editing what you have to do is going to open this value, the option, sorry, and I'm going to add the PHP file here. So once you add it, you'll see how the, the comments and the reviews will appear above, the, above this. Okay, so this is when the, you can start like, using the review settings and change the pagination effect of if you want four elements per page or you want more 
the icon color here, which we are using Font Awesome. Oh, and by the way, if you want to change the icon here, we're using Font Awesome and you have to do this here in text labels, okay? Right now we're using Font Awesome User Circle. Visit their website and choose the one that you want and just write down the, the code here. So let's go back to, to the review settings and um, let's change the icon color. Let's get something like that, author color. I'm going to randomly change this, okay? I'm not thinking about if the colors look good or not. Just want to show you how what what you're able to do here. Um, I'm going to use this one here. Okay, you can also use the total rating colors. Let's change it to another. Um, let's make it this color too. Yep. And pagination, you also can um, change you know, the background color to to this one opacity odd background color and even background color so you can change it so you can make so it looks different one from another okay so when you're done here what you have to do is you have to export it to HTML and then upload it to your PHP compatible server so I'm going to show you how to access your, your backend too. So remember I told you to change the username and the password. Those So to access it, I'm going to access my our demo. So this is our demo I was looking. So I'm going to access the backend of this demo here. So this is what you're going to find, okay? So just imagine I'm going to leave a name here. So I'm going to submit this. Okay, that means it's done. So I'm going to refresh this so you can see the last you can see the last comment here and username is called Muse. So here what you can do is you can trash it or you can even edit it, okay? So just imagine that instead of Muse, you want to write a responsive Muse. So here I can just change it and click on save. So it will save. And to see it here too, so if you want, if you click on submit and you see nothing has been submitted here, it means that you have to refresh to see exactly, you have to see the latest, the latest comments, all right? So here is where you control all the comments and you want if you want them to appear or not appear, if you want to edit them or if you want to delete them. So thank you very much for watching.